Hi there, welcome back to Snail Wars. Let's make the galaxy safe again together in this empire of uh, Nautilon's <laughs> arrival. We're waiting for our god Nautilon and we want to make the galaxy safe for his arrival so that all can concentrate on him. We have received the Withraldom demand from the Calaxenon Restorers. Now, I've looked up and I've tested in play what actually happens because there's no clear information. Uh, there was a lot on the forums that I've read about thraldom, what this means, and for part it was wrong. So if you're a thrall and you get attacked by other civilizations, they won't help you. <laughs> you're just getting attacked. So if you're a thrall, you're giving them like 25% of all your income. And that's it. And then they won't attack you or something. So I'm not sure we'll do that. Actually, I'm, I'm sure we won't do that. Because, I mean, you can lead a war then. That's the one thing. But you can't open colonies. That's the other thing. And they won't protect you. So, what, I mean, they are awakened. I don't know what they can do, but we'll not do that for now. So let's declare that we decline. <laughs> As I've tried it out and it is absolutely nothing except these guys not attacking us. I mean, if they come attack us, we can cave in and still become their thralls. But for now, we won't. We just won't. Take other thralls, like the T-Human Hierarchy. The twilight of your species approaches Nautiloids. We will show no mercy. Uh, we'll see about that. They are belligerent. They are likely to attack us. We'll see how that works out. We'll really see how that works out. It's really too costly for us also. We would have to kill half of our fleet or so. <laughs> and we can only hope that um, the space roaches will be able to protect us then. So what's next? Um, next on the agenda is something... Something experimental. Akshaya Wat here. Maybe we should end the orbit here and then land armies. We have watched these Quavarians long enough. They are materialists, heretics, and yeah, um, they are on a on a precious ocean planet, precious for Nautilon. And we cannot let this stand. We will we will have to we'll have to go and eliminate them. Or we'll have to at least enslave them and integrate them into our empire. Uh, also, we want to embark this fleet and this fleet and this fleet and these fleets. These fleets. And we want them all united. On Akshaya Wat. So what we'll do instead is we will try to grow inward for now, which means we're probably going to absorb the absorption posts. We're going to for Akshaya Wat first, because we already have that system, so it won't count to our directly controlled colonized systems. We won't give it to a sector yet. We can purge in peace <laughs> and we'll have a new colony then a good one because we are very adaptable as you may know <laughs> it's just very good for us to do that we should have maybe done it earlier <laughs> let's first collect our all of our fleets there our armies that is So, the Calaxenon Restorers, do they have thralls now? No. Not really, right? 
Request thraldom. Cannot do that anymore. Technology reserved. We have completed research of automated exploration protocols. We have now automatic exploration and more survey speed. An advanced AI will aid science officers in their task to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no blog has gone before. Science ship will be able to explore the galaxy with help from an AI. Nice going. So, what's next? What should we go for next? Make the galaxy safe again. Ha, huh, we got neutronium extraction. But we would really like to discover plasma throwers and stuff. Like that line of, of attack is really, really good. So let's make the galaxy safe again with plasma throwers. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> are they going to do something? I mean, they are awakened. But they couldn't have asked only us, right? They have closed borders to the Regarians too. Ah. Is that possible? No, it is not. It will eliminate these people, so the space roaches won't do it. Ships upgraded. Oh, we have upgraded our fleet. Look at that. Now, now, our power is um, eclipsed by the Holy Rochans. But we have a chance against them now, if they decide to turn sides or something. And we're still waiting for 2366, when the next war against the Vol will become a reality, one way or another. It's Vol time, then. We won't expand the fleet for now, but need more energy credits. Look at our fleets, they are collecting themselves as Ad Nautilon's flesh. And interestingly, this counts as a colony too, with 30% uh, 30 influence coast. Cost. Coast, yeah. <laughs> We're landing at the influence coast. Nice going. Come on, guys. You can do it. <laughs> I'm really happy that Galaxy is becoming so much safer. Let's actually look at these guys. Yeah. No one has caved in yet. The Higardi Galactic League is it's very strong, too. Look at that, they are the overlord of Moji Huck's gun consciousness. The overlord. And we're the overlord of these. The Gox Dominions. The evil overlord, that's what we are. Yeah, we would lose these too if we're g going to be a thrall. So that's something you should consider if you want to be a thrall. You're giving in to be a thrall, you lose all your protectorates. So, the transport fleets, come on. Collect yourselves. There we go. Shrink them down to one army, come on. Akshaya what? Land. Land costs is actually something. It's not shown here on that button. But it's shown here. So I don't know. I'm using that button just in case we won't need the 30 then. Let's just control it. Will it cost us 30 when we hit this button? Yes, it will. So it's just not shown here. Go. 
Good night, um, primitive civilization of the Quivarian heathens. Our armies have successfully invaded and subdued the primitive forces on Akshayawat. Locals have given up all attempts at fighting back. And we have now subsumed their civilization into our empire, although backwards as they are, make take some time for the natives to become fully productive members of Nautiloan society. The Xenos are no match for us. Really, yes. That's that's what it's yeah. Definitely. They are no match for us. And we're going to resettle. On to Akshaya Wat. With this pop. Send it over here. Resettle. There we go. Akshaya Wat. Now I want to exchange places here and we want to replace this building with... You can instantly build a planetary administration. And this is a relatively good position for something like that. I mean, what else should we go for? There's not really anything. Let's go for that. And we don't want to stop them from reproducing, so we'll enslave them for now. Also, we want to clear some of these things. But that will be done later. So, we have some forces here, let's embark them again. And we'll recruit some Nautiloid defense armies here, three of them should be enough. Transport fleet is complete again. Let's fly over to the Tawagawa system now, because... Yeah, we're ending this. Going to Spring Rain. That is going to be added to... Hmm, Hadnock Prime, maybe? Oh, splitting the atom. Oh, close enough. Physicists from the alien civilization on Spring Rain have managed to split the atom for the first time. With the discovery of nuclear fission, the first nuclear weapons are inevitably being produced and nuclear power plants are coming online. The Volhub civilization has entered the critical phase where they suddenly possess the means to destroy their own world with a press of a button. Significant development. We need to save this planet for Nautilon. Planet of Spring Rain. What is that? It's a tropical terrain planet. They're individualists. And yeah. Individualists and spiritualists. How does that? Okay. Yeah, I mean... No, we need to stop them. This can't be... This can't be done. Tawagawa system needs to be added to... Hadnock Prime, probably. Yeah, we need more energy credits, so... There's that. I mean, there's a lot of research there, but also um, a lot of energy credits. Oh, let's have a look at the factions, shall we? Manage the factions. Suppress these, suppress these. Forces are nearing. And they're in the atomic age. There's only three of these. They are fungoids too. Look at that. They have, wow, industrial and post-atomic armies. And of course they are no match for General Guy Hebert. So, thank you for watching. Let's make the galaxy safe again next time by uh, taking Spring Rain into the loving arms of Hadnock Prime. And we might rename Hadnock Prime. If it gets expanded after such a long time, it might be good. 
So happy gaming to you. This is Emmanuel Kahn signing out. Let's make the galaxy safe again together next time. Forever for Nautilus.